Hi, uh, today we're going to talk about how to derive the equation of linear spring weight system where two springs are attached to one another and it's suspended from a uh, ceiling or on, 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 the, on, on a bell. Uh, yeah, it is from a ceiling, yeah. And each of the um, masses are going to have attached two springs and two springs are going to have two different K value. We're going to look at how much each mass is being displaced on its own weight. So let's try the let's draw a uh, picture. So that's the ceiling, and one spring is attached with the K one and weight one, and second spring with M two, K two. Let's just say the displacement at the mass 1 is Q1 and the displacement as mass 2 is Q2. What we are trying to do essentially is finding the displacement of Q1 and Q2 in terms of mass 1, mass 2 and K1, K2. So I'm going to start with a pretty basic uh, energy. So energy, kinetic, uh, we're going to use the potential energy. So U is equal to half K1 Q1 squared for the mass 1 and for the mass 2 1 half K2 the displacement between Q1 and Q2 so Q2 minus Q1 squared so that's energy so that's equation number 1 now Let's look at the each internal tension forces on each springs springs. So we all know springs equation. Springs equation is the general equation. For springs is equal to F is equal to KX for internal. So internal tension forces on springs so for the spring 1 F1 is defined by K1 and Q1 so K1 Q1 F2 is defined by K2 and where X is in here is the difference between Q1, Q2 and Q1 so Q2 minus Q1. So this is equation number two we know. Now let's talk about by the equilibrium of each masses. So when I say equilibrium as in like the weight. So let's write as by equilibrium on each mass. So let's start with a simple one. F2 is equal to, if I have this, F2 is equal to define, F2 is equal to just equal to V2. So weight is going like this. So the F2 is going to go upwards. So when it comes to F1, which is acting on weight mass 1, it's governed by the summation of mass of mass 1 and mass 2 so F1 is equal to weight 1 plus weight 2 so let me repeat that again so when I say F2 is in as like so I have weight 2 so it's gonna by uh, gravity is gonna go down in the y direction so F2 is in upward direction for when it comes to mass 1 so this has a weight 2, weight 1 and spring attached to it and I have a V2 so the total forces on equi by equilibrium on uh, mass 1 is some of the two masses. Now what I want to do is replace all the Q's in the first equation by the omega 1 omega 2 and also 
So what I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you the steps that I'm gonna follow before I do it. So I'm gonna write F five in terms of W W and W G two. So I'm gonna change all these F one into here. Then I'm gonna isolate Q one or Q two into one side and write the rest of it as in terms of Q one or Q two minus Q one and get that terms and put it in here. And I will get the energy, the total energy, in terms of K1 and masses, or K2, spring constants and masses. So, let's, okay, this is an equation number three. So, I'm going to bring this equation over here. So, F1 is equal to K1, Q1. And also, from this equation, plus, no, is equal to mass one is also mass two so i'm gonna write the q1 in the one side so q1 is equal to mass one plus mass two divided by k1 so that's the one of our most equation so next equation i'm gonna have f2 from here k2 q2 minus q1 also equal to I'm gonna have trouble bringing that over here so let's bring it over here also is equal to v2 so from this equation this comes out over here so q2 minus q1 is equal to v2 over k2 so what I have done so far is like replace all these equations all, all these unknown Q's into one side and then and wrote the Q1 or Q2 in terms of weight and K2, weights and spring constants. So let, I'm going to replace these two uh, unknown variables in here so I can have the U in terms of spring constant and mass. So U is equal to, let's write the first one, so 1 over 1 plus K1, I have Q1 squared. So Q1 squared is equal to mass 1 plus mass 2 divided by K1 squared plus. Then I have K2, 1 half K2 is equal to Q2 minus Q1 squared. So Q2 minus Q1 squared is equal to omega 2 K2 squared. So I am going to rewrite everything on the new page so u is equal to half k1 mass 1 plus mass 2 over k1 squared plus 1 half k2 is equal to mass 2 divided by k2 squared so from basic from just by looking at it you all know that you guys know that uh, I can delete or uh, I can uh, cut one k one because I have k one on the top and I have k two squared on the bottom, so it's gonna be one half u is equal to omega one mass one plus mass two squared divided by k one plus one half mass two squared divided by k two. So, the beauty of math is like, we know that Q1, or let's say Q2 is, the change in Q2 is related to mass 1. So, if I were to derive this equation in terms of mass 1 or weight 1, I could get the displacement of mass 1. So, what I'm trying to say is, du divided by d1 mass 1 is equal to let's draw this equation so I have no terms in, in here for related to uh, mass 1 but I have this term in term related to mass 1 so I'm gonna write I'm gonna write like this first so 1 half squared I'm just rewriting the equation so let's derive it. So if I derive this equation, so if I, when I drive it, the power comes down. So when the power comes down, so 
two. So let's try this. Half is already there. Then when I drive the two, then make a one. So whatever the power you take a minus value and put it at the front. Divided by k1. And I have omega 1 in here. So it's like if I drive an x, then my resistance is going to be 1. So I have only omega 1, only power to the 1. If I have power to the 2, then I will have another omega mass 1 in there. But it's just only the 1, only the power to the 1. So this 2 and this 2 will cancel out. So q1, or oh, we're going to say is equal to over k. Now q2 is equal to, so this is the displacement of q1, the total displacement of q1. q2 is equal to du divided by d weight 2. It's also equal to d over d weight 2 times the entire equation. So one half weight one plus weight two squared divided by k one plus one half weight two squared divided by k two. So q two is equal to so let's drive this equation. So again I'm gonna drive for weight two. So this two and this two will this two and two will cancel up and I drive it and I have only a weight two to the power of one so it's gonna be one. So weight 1 plus weight 2 divided by k1 plus I have this is a pretty simple term so weight 2 to the power 2 so again just like this so you derive this it's gonna come to the top then this 2 and 2 will cancel out so I have omega 1 omega 2 no weight 2 then the derivation of weight 2 is gonna be just 1 so weight 2 over k2 so what we have done or what we have found at the end is how to calculate the displacement of Q1 and Q2 without doing any big calculations, just using simple derivatives and mathematical equation, only grouping the known value weight 1 and weight 2 and K1 and K2. Just by doing that, we found the answer. This is called linear spring weight system and we just found the displacement of Q1 and Q2. Thank you so much.